Capcom. Bizarre. Wesker wears sunglasses at night because he's motherfucking Albert Wesker. That sound effect. Chris Redfield. Damn, you want to know how you can tell a game is old? When it's got cheesy live-action TV-style intros for the main characters. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! The biggest reason why this game was remade. What is it? Uh, clearly it was a gunshot, Barry. Look, I know these door animations are iconic to Resident Evil, and I personally love them, but I'm still gonna send them for what they really are. Fake-ass loading screens. Still one of the most memorable moments in video game history. Minus one sin. Barry? What is it? Watch out! Okay, are we just gonna overlook the fact that that brain-dead zombie basically opened a door? Because if you know anything about us, we sure as hell are not. It takes three magnum shots for this zombie to go down. Let's search for him separately. Splitting from the group plot cliche. That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. But Barry, didn't you say you're going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Jill would be excellent at gaming sins. What? Oh! Oh no! One of my favorite Resident Evil characters of all time, and this is how she's introduced. Are you the only person here from the Bravo team? Well, because the helicopter made a forced landing, I just ran into this house anyway, but I, uh... I also ran into this really handsome prisoner named Billy Cohen, but I'm not going to share those details with you here. Girls gotta keep her secrets, right? If you go out to search for the other members, how about letting me come with you? Even if you say yes, Rebecca will not be your partner throughout the remainder of Chris's campaign. At least not in the same style as the more recent Resident Evil games. Reading. It's me, Chris. Is that you, Rebecca? Really? Look, I appreciate the gesture and I understand its game purposes, but why the hell would Barry give you acid rounds when you're currently not possessing a grenade launcher? That's like me giving someone magnum rounds when they don't have a magnum. Oh wait. Not enough Beethoven. Ah, 1996, when bullshit like this was possible. Oh, Jill, this house is dangerous. Well, thank you, Captain Obvious. Also, his delivery of that line. When you fight Yon the first time, you can avoid it completely, thus causing no damage. Yet, when you fight it the second time, this motherfucker will look like he's gone through the seventh circle of hell. See, this is bullshit. When Chris gets poisoned, you can play as Rebecca to go get the serum. But when Jill gets poisoned, you can't play as Barry to go get the serum for her. What happened? You were bitten by a poisonous snake. Are you okay? Okay, couple sins here. First of all, how the hell does Chris not know that he was bitten by a gigantic venomous snake? Secondly, how the hell does Rebecca know that Chris was bitten by a snake when she never saw it? This room literally serves no purpose. Come on now. Every damn one of you knows how tedious and annoying this is. Scene does not contain Zonton. Yeah, so much for him, we got to the root of the problem. Puns, quips, jokes. Really, thank you. You'd do the same for me, wouldn't you? I guarantee it. Liar. This is Jill. Brad? Oh, it's broken. Malfunctioning radio cliche.
That's the second zombie in this game that has had the wherewithal to open a door by itself. But I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? Barry, that is one of the most brilliant ideas that I've ever heard. Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. You mean you have more random ropes just lying around? Awkward pauses. Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah? You're alive! Wait there! Are you with anybody, Jill? What? Oh, yes! Enrico! So, Barry and Jill together. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Ha! Character dies right after they've spilled crucial information, cliché. Also, how the hell does the person who shot Enrico remain hidden? They're in a fucking sewer! These stickers are an orgy of evidence to let you know that this is all Umbrella property. Despite the fact that all of this equipment is hidden underground beneath a mansion that wishes to remain secret. Also, damn, even back then they had a first person point of view at critical plot moments. I can only speak for myself, but fuck these guys. Since when have you been an Umbrella agent? And a traitor to the stars. What? The shady guy who wears sunglasses at night turns out to be the bad guy? Mind blown. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mentioned mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. That's exactly what she was just talking about, you fool. A man chooses, a slave obeys. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. Classic villain cliche number five. Now that I've revealed myself to be evil, I'm going to explain all the details of my evil plan. <laughs> That's right. This is the ultimate life form. Tyrant! <laughs> Chris? <laughs> Stop it! Wesker, you're pitiful. <laughs> Man, you know you suck at villainy when your main adversary is literally chuckling at you. Despite Chris and Jill being different characters, presumably in different parts of the mansion, their campaigns play out almost exactly the same. The only noticeable difference being that Barry helps out Jill in her story and Rebecca helps out Chris in his story. And that Wesker gets wrecked by the tyrant in Chris's campaign. What happened to Wesker? Ah, uh, the good old Resident Evil self-destruct alarm. That signifies the escape from the soon-to-be-destroyed building cliche. Ladies and gentlemen, your iconic, strong female character, Jill Valentine. Final boss battle with Tyrant, literally over in under 40 seconds. Don't believe me? Check it out. Riding off into the sunrise cliché. You can't kill me!
So, I'm guessing most of you think that we're going to be sending tank controls, right? Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> See, if any of you have a problem with tank controls, I suggest only one thing. Uh, stop acting like a bunch of bitches and learn how to play old school Resident Evil. Believe me, it ain't that hard.